Praise the Lord Jesus. He's worthy of all glory. He's worthy of all praise. And it's such a blessing to know that he speaks to all of his children. He gives them commandment on what they need to do. He lays conviction in our consciences. And he shows us the next step to make, to take, and what we need to do to be right before him, what we need to do to have white, red, white wedding robes. And Satan does not like that. He hates it when there are souls who get woken up out of their slumber, who wake up out of sleep and become resurrected in this life, resurrected from the dead by the blood of Jesus Christ. And we have an important job, an important task, and what we've been given by God is so precious. And that gift is salvation. That gift is the Holy Spirit. And we have to hold fast to what we've been given because Jesus says if we don't hold fast, it's going to be taken from us. Everything that we even seem like we have. But I praise God that he's so merciful and he's so loving to his children and he gives them the ability to overcome. He gives them the ability to fight the evil one. He tests us. He tries us, but he's not going to grind us to powder because we're falling on the rock. The rock isn't falling on us. So be encouraged today. Be encouraged to keep fighting the good fight of faith. Be encouraged to keep walking with the Lord Jesus because he loves his children beyond measure, beyond what any of us could ever even comprehend. And don't let the devil beat you down. Don't let the devil condemn you and pin you up against a wall. Because if you stay pinned, then you're giving Satan the victory. You're giving Satan rule over your life. Be encouraged. Continue to walk with the Lord. And even if you stumble... The only right thing to do, the only thing to do, if you wish to have salvation, is to get right back up and keep following the Lord. That's what he wants to see. He wants to see endurance. He wants to see his children able to overcome and bounce back. Because Jesus didn't come to condemn, he came to save. Certainly he's not going to put up with a repetitive sinner somebody who willingly makes the choice and they keep going back to their vomit. But he does honor and he does love those who have heard his voice and genuinely want to right their lives, who genuinely want to get right with him. Part of my testimony was, I know that I had backslidden several times when I first started walking with the Lord, but I knew that there was no other option except but for to overcome. The only option was to overcome. The only option was to get back up because I could feel Satan's grip on me get tighter when I gave into the condemnation and I kept living, wallowing around in discouragement and condemnation after I stumbled. But once I got back up and I continued to pursue righteousness, I picked my cross back up and followed the Lord. He honored that. And I give the glory and the praise to him. He gave me the strength to overcome. And by his grace, I was able to overcome sin. And this is possible with all of his children. Because with God, everything is possible. Even true, perfect repentance. It's absolutely possible. So, once you've tasted of the goodness of God... 
there's certainly no going back because there's nothing better. There's nothing greater than the goodness of God. There's nothing better than his grace and his love. There's nothing better than salvation, eternity, peace, and joy forever. There's nothing greater than that. No matter what pleasure, no matter, no pleasure, no possession, no nothing can ever surpass by any means the glory of the Lord and the gift of his salvation and his love for us. So, knowing that, we continue to walk with the Lord, keep fighting hard, take up the sword of the Spirit, pick up the shield of faith, and be girded with his full armor, and keep pursuing righteousness. The devil hates that, but we don't care what the devil thinks. We overcome the devil, we fight against the devil, and we don't give him any reign, any rule in our life. We do that by walking holy and righteous and pleasing to God. That's what God wants to see, and he loves that, and he loves us. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you.